Hi fitness friends, today we have another no equipment, full body vacation workout to do. This is number nine in the series and this is another 60 minute hit workout. This was written by our dear fitness friend, Kristen Komu. So if you like this workout, make sure you leave it with a thumbs up and you let Kristen know how much you loved her cool combo moves in the comment section. So this is set up just like the way I did the last workout the number eight in the series, the 60 minutes hit. There's five moves that we'll be repeating throughout. It'll be 50 seconds on, 10 seconds rest, and 20 minute sets. I'll take breaks in between in each set. I really like this format, especially for vacation if you are doing these while you're traveling because you know exactly that it's gonna take one hour and there's no guessing game in terms of reps and you don't have to count. All you gotta do is make that body move. All right, I don't have a warm up, so push pause, get warmed up, Give yourself an hour and 10 minutes to do this workout so you have a 10 minute warm up. And I will see you in just a minute. All right guys, I am hitting start right now with our 10 second countdown. Our first move is a repeated move. This will be one that we'll be repeating. We're starting off in plank, two plank glute raises, hop it into a bear crawl, two donkey kicks, and then two frog push-ups. So glute raise, glute raise. Hop up to bear crawl where you're covering your knees. Donkey tip kick donkey kick from here to frog push-ups. So come back, forward, back, forward, back to bear crawl, hop to plank, glute raise one, two, hop to bear, donkey kicks, one, two, frog or push-ups for two. Hop to plank, glute, glute, bear crawl, Donkey, donkey, front push-ups. One, two, like it, nice job. Next move is a pistol move. It's a pistol to a single leg push-up. We're gonna go with our left leg first. So start with a pistol, walk out to the push-up. Pistol down, come up, hands down, walk it out, single leg push-up. Walk it back. If you can't do a pistol squat, either support yourself with something to do it, or just do a half pistol squat, or just do a squat, squat jump. Loads of things you can modify with here to make the workout challenging for you. When you come up, Pull up with that glute and hamstring, making that single leg deadlift. Work that leg. And one, repeater move coming up. You have a low pendulum lunge on your left leg. So the left leg is a supporting leg. Lunging forward with the right. Staying nice and low. Lunging back with the right. Staying nice and low. Don't put that foot down in the center. Hover it, try to balance. This will really start to burn. So I'm kind of hovering here in the center at like a chair squat position to make sure that I stay low. You can tap that foot down if you need to. A lot of balance. Nice job, shake out that left leg. We have our leg and plyo move, which is a slow sumo squat down on the count of four, and then you power up to a wide tuck jump. Toes and knees are out. One, two, three, four from here. Jump and tuck. Low down, slow. One, two, three, four. Jump and tuck. Land softly, then start that eccentric slow move. Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. 
four, five seconds, two, three, four. Okay, low pendulum on your right leg. So same thing, hover in the center. If you don't have to tap your foot down, don't do it. So right leg is a supporting leg this time. Deep lunge, stay low. Lunge back, stay low. Already feel the burn in that right leg. Less than ten, stay with it. If you have sore quads tomorrow, this move is going to be the culprit. Okay, we have a burpee, a dive bomber burpee. So you're dive bombing under and back up, and then jumping up for the burpee. Get all the way under, squeeze, get all the way back up. Hop it in, jump it up. Pike position, get under, squeeze, get back up. Hop it in, jump up. and sit. Show you what that looks like. Skate it over. Keep that back foot up. Slowly lower all the way down until you sit. Then you're pressing to stand. Back leg is up again. Curtsy over. Hold that leg. Slow lower all the way to sit to your heel. Back up to stand. Oh, balance. There's a lot of control in this move. Sit back to your heel. Press the stand. Make sure you control that eccentric movement with the curtsy levitating lunge. It's really hard to do, especially after a plyo curtsy. But we'll have plenty of time to get the hang of it. This is a repeated move. Okay, I think on that last one I did not control the eccentric. Okay, arms, we're doing a tricep hold jack. Press back up to a dolphin and two glute raises. So plank position, hands close together. Tricep hold, jack, press up. Elbows down, glute raise. One, two, back up to tricep hold. Jack, up, elbows down for dolphin. Glute raise, one, and two, press back up. Tricep hold. Back, up, elbows down, dolphin, glute raise, up, hold it, jacket, up, nice job, I like the flow of this move, okay, nice one. Left leg curtsy to reverse lunge to handstand. So, left leg is a supporting leg. Curtsy back, stay low, reverse lunge, come up, handstand. Back down, go into a curtsy, reverse lunge, handstand. If you don't feel comfortable doing a handstand, you're gonna put your hands down on the ground and simply do a glute raise or just a little kick up. Just pick that leg up off the floor a little bit. Curtsy, reverse lunge, handstand. Curtsy, reverse lunge, handstand. I 
Nice work. You have the other leg in the next round. We have oblique leg lifts. So on your back, lifting and lowering, oblique style. So coming up, going to the right, down to the center, up going to the left, down. Try to keep your back pressed to the mat, abs pulled in tight. Exhale when you lift those legs. Nice job. Stay with it, you have 15 seconds. And then we are all the way back to the top with our first repeated move, the plank glute raises, bear hold donkey kicks, and frogger push-ups. So, get right into your plank position. Start with the two glute raises. Glute raise, glute raise. Hop to bear hold, donkey, donkey. Frog push up, frog push up. Hop back to plank, glute raise, glute raise. Hop to bear. Donkey, donkey, frog push-ups. Moving on to number 12, we have a pistol move, the pistol to a single leg push up this time on your right. So remember, if you can't do a pistol, you modify and do something else that challenges you at the top of this single leg walkout push up. So if it's a squat jump right here, or a regular squat, or a squat with a pulse, something that's hard for you to do. Modify the move and make it work. You have 15 seconds left. Nice job. All right, next move is that low pendulum lunge again on our right side. She switched us up, so we're doing it on the right side first. All right, leg is your supporting leg. Stay low. Don't stand all the way up. If you need to tap down in the center, tap down. But keep that chair squat position. You have 20 seconds. Less than 10, chest stays up. Unless you want to hinge forward on that lunge. Oh, right leg, fire. Okay, we have a squat jump. In and out for four. Four count push up. So one, two, three, four. Come down, slowly lower. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then that squat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Nice work. 
All right, you have that low pendulum on the left this time. We're already on to move 15 of this first set. Supporting leg is your left leg. Lunge forward, stay low. Come to center, stay in that squat. Go back. You'll probably figure it out which side you're more balanced on, which side you have to tap down more on in the center, and that's okay. We fight through all those wobbles. You train your balance just like everything else. It gets better as your muscles get stronger. firing up my legs. Okay, burpee is a standard burpee. So all the way down, full release, jump it up. Hands come up, jump it up. Curtsy to sit. I'm gonna get better at this one. So skate it over. Levitate and curtsy lunge all the way down. Sit to your heel. Press to stand. Levitate that foot. Pop it. This is not a fast move. This is a slow and controlled move. I think the first round I tried to go fast. This is supposed to be slow and burning. Stay low. When I press the stand, I'm picking that whole back, back leg up to levitate it back up before I do the next skater. Okay. Whew. Move 18. 10 high knees, lateral tuck jump. So you're just jumping across your back, getting high knees on the other side. Let's start with high knees. One, two, three. Four, six, nine, ten. Tuck it. One, two, three, four. Job. Right leg curtsy to reverse lunge to handstand. Let's see how you're on your right leg forward this time. Go into your left leg back for the curtsy. Reverse lunge. Kick it up to your handstand. Curtsy. Reverse lunge. Handstand. Curtsy. Lunge, handstand. Remember your modifications, glute raises, mini kick ups, especially if you start to feel fatigued later in this workout. If you're doing really great with your handstands, get some hang time. Stay up there. 
All right, last move in this first set. Plank, three-way knee tucks. So this is ab move. High plank position, starting with my left. Knee to elbow, knee to center, knee to opposite elbow, and switch. Nice job. Just working it across your body with your knee tucks. All right, guys, I'm hitting start on round two. I hope you're ready to start with me. We have a 10 second countdown. Beginning with our plank, glute raises, bear hold donkey kicks, and frogger push ups. Two of each. So, plank position, glute raise, glute raise to donkey, frogger push ups. Plank, glute, glute, bear. Donkey, donkey, front push ups. Plank, glute. You have 20 seconds, keep it going. Basically just do a squat pulse. 
a large pulse. And then a ninja. If you can't do a ninja, you put your hands down and help yourself pop up. Okay. Low pendulum on our left. So if legs the supporting leg, lunge it forward. Come to center, cover that chair. Three, two, and one. Nice 
work. Okay, where am I at? Going upside down, maybe lose my place. Arms, we're doing a push up to a lunge. So you're alternating which legs comes forward for that lunge. So push up, lunge, push up, lunge, go faster. Okay, 
low pendulum on the right. So your right leg is the supporting leg. Left leg is moving. Nice job. 
Okay, last move here is a pendulum tricep push-up with two, two knee tucks. So, tricep hands, kick out, tricep push-up. Come back, knee tuck one, two, get the other leg. One, two. Switch. Make sure you keep your arms in those tricep positions. Elbows in, hands go right to the armpits.
How do your quads feel? Lying on fire. Okay, low pendulum on your left. Use your 10 seconds wisely, here we go. Right leg is jumping forward and back. Hover that right foot. Control that handstand. Muscle movement, you're not just throwing your weight up there. It's about balance and muscle control. Of 
course, if you just turn to hop up a little bit, maybe it's just about the momentum. And that's okay too. Don't be hard on yourself. All right. Abs. So we're doing a side plank. Reach under and elbow to knee on our left side first. So, side plank. Reach under. Elbow to knee. Reach under. Elbow to knee. Reach under. Elbow to knee. Stay tight. Flex your feet. Keep that body in a straight line. You have 15 seconds left. other side. We're back to the plank glute raises to bear hold donkey kicks and frog or push-ups. Guys, we are very close to the end of this workout. Stay with me. Glute raise, glute raise, hop to bear, donkey, donkey, frog or push-ups. Back to plank, glute raise, glute raise, bear, Fast. 
Nice job. Okay, we have the levitating lunge curtsies with the skaters. Control this move. Sit it back, press it up. Nice job. Okay, our very last move is 
a side plank, reach under, elbow to knee on the other side. So I'm going for my elbow again, body in a straight line, reach under, come up, knee to elbow, down. This is it. Breathe deep here. Stay tight. Work those obliques. This is a full body move. You're working your shoulders. You're working your obliques. Your quads should be tight, holding your body in a straight line. Your glutes. You have 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. Whew. All right, that was an awesome workout. Another great no equipment workout. This just proves to you that you do not need weights to do a strength workout. Yes, this was a lot of cardio because I was breathing heavy and I'm obviously sweaty and wet, but there was a lot of strength. Those pe low pendulum lunges, I can almost guarantee I'm gonna have sore quads and glutes tomorrow from them. <laughs> So thank you, Kristen. Guys, let Kristen know what you liked. Replenish your body, take care of yourself. If you're on vacation, please rest, relax, enjoy the rest of your day. And I will see you at the next workout.